she would have changed the world. She was amazing. A mother who lost her 17-year-old daughter to an overdose said they were turned away from help before she could be saved. It just didn't make sense. It still doesn't. It'll never make sense to me that they sent her away. Who's your mama? mama? When I first found out that she was having difficulties with drugs, um, there, it was really hard to find resources and nobody really knew anything for any resources in the interior. When it got to the point where she knew she had a problem and needed help, it took seven months from the time I really started pushing for it to get her to Peak House. And within a few hours, they were calling me and didn't, they just said, you have to, she has to leave, she can't stay. That was my first moment in time where I had peace that she was there for a little bit. They just said there was a policy and they wouldn't let her stay and I found out later that it was an in-house policy that another um, youth from Kelowna had been there. At that time she was refusing to stay at home so she ba they basically sent her back to the street. She came back and got worse. She was going to the hospital overdosing and getting um, treatment and then saying I don't want my mom to know or I don't want anybody to know and then they would just keep her an hour and send her on her way. So she was, you know, yeah. potentially almost dying every single one of those times and nobody knew. What do you treat first? Do you treat the depression or you treat the drug use? Well, you need to treat both for them to be able to be successful. It's just sad that the lack of resources for youth, like that's what I think needs to happen for addiction. My daughter didn't deserve to die because, because she had a struggle, because she had an addiction. You know, she didn't she didn't, she deserved to get help just like everybody else. For Castanet News, I'm Elena Kelly.